The assignment that I had was uh, working with junior forestry students and they, I decided I really had to think differently about the way I was teaching class because I had taught the class for a couple of years and it was already starting to um, feel really slow and like the students were not engaged. And this is a forest measurements class where this was really heavy math oriented and so there's a lot of time we have to spend thinking about different problem sets and working through these things really crunching a lot of numbers and I could really tell that the students were just starting to really bog down and they weren't feeling engaged so I'm like okay we have to do something different and so what I decided to do was I decided to do kind of integrate a service learning project into it and so what I decided to do was have the students take the um, forestry techniques, the forest sampling techniques that they already knew how to do and kind of integrated into this um, semester long project that culminated with a forestry field day that they headed up, they helped develop for a local fifth grade um, class. And so what they had to do is they had to come up with the different topics. I helped them come up with the different topics and they then broke into groups and so then they helped the students, um, the, when the fifth graders came, they actually led these different stations that the students rotated through. It, it again gets the students out of the classroom. It gets them actually applying what they're learning in the class to a real world um, assignment and the thing I really like about it is it actually does integrate writing into a traditionally math oriented class where there was no writing so it actually the students have to write up kind of a script of what they were going to say they have to think about you know what topic they're going to cover they have to organize their thoughts and they have to provide me with kind of a written outline of what they are going to do so again this is a integrating writing into something that into a class that normally didn't have any writing in it So this assignment is, I think, useful to the students because, again, it gets them engaged with the public in something that they normally don't get to do. These are junior students, so pretty soon they're going to be going into the real world, so to speak, and working with the public. And as foresters and land managers, that is a big part of what we do is working with the public. And a lot of times our students just don't get that real world opportunity. So this gives them kind of in a very small scale, controlled environment the opportunity to um, work with a non-threatening first audience fifth graders really look up to the college students and so it's not as although it's scary at first for the college students it's not as scary once they actually get um, working on it and they get to engage um, not only with the students but also with the parents and teachers that come one of the things i have the students do and I actually learned this trick from Margaret Marshall and it works really well is so the students a lot of times when they have a writing assignment for me they maybe do it at the last minute or it's kind of rushed they really don't review it after they write it they think okay I'm writing it it's done um, so what I'll do is I'll give them the due date and make the due date maybe slightly earlier than I would normally so the students have to turn it in and when they come to class with their assignment I have them flip the paper over and I have them write on the back of the paper which some of them have a hard time writing on their paper after their paper is done um, but they have to write down three things that they think they did really well on the assignment and also three things that they think they could have improved upon then I have them switch their paper with somebody across the room and then they have to go through the other person's paper and same thing, they have to write down three things that they think that, that person did really well, and then they also have to go through and write down three things that they think that person could improve upon. It may be something as simple as page numbers, but whatever it is, there's always something that somebody could improve. And so then the students then have the option, they have another week to take both what they think they could have improved upon and what the other the peer reviewer thinks they could have improved upon, and they then have the opportunity to, to, to revise their paper and then have to turn both of those papers into me at the end and it never fails but the papers are usually you know at least a letter grade better than they would have been if they had turned in 
that original paper. And so I grade both the papers and I turn them back to the students. And you know, it doesn't always make them go back then and peer review later, but I want to actually start that conversation and start the process with the students of, you know, it's okay, it's not cheating if you have somebody look over your paper for